feel like it's too soon to text my mom back. Like, I don't want to seem desperate. Oh, yeah, no, you should definitely wait. That's what it says in the game. Hey, guys. Have mercy. <laughs> Why are you wearing that vest? So there was this uh, full house marathon on TNT this weekend, and it reminded me how cool Uncle Jesse was. Oh, you know, I never really watched that show growing up. Yeah, me neither. Jesse was the one with the pompadour hair? Yes, exactly. I idolized him growing up. He was pretty much my role model. Why? Oh, well, for one, he lived in this really cool attic bedroom. He lived in an attic? Yeah. Like a bat? No, not like a bat. Uh, uh, it was like his own personal crash pad. Oh, so he owned it. Yeah. Well, no, technically his brother Danny owned it. He just let Jesse sleep there. For free? J Jesse couldn't really afford rent. Did he not have a job? No, man. He was more focused on his rock and roll band. Pat, I'm a little confused why you think this guy is cool. I mean, to me, he kind of sounds like an unemployed aspiring rock star who was forced to squat in an attic. Like a bat. Not like a bat, Murph, okay? It's not like he chose to live in the attic. All the other bedrooms downstairs were just taken up by Danny's three daughters. Wait, Danny had children to support? Yeah. And Jesse still didn't pay rent. No. And Danny's wife was okay with this? Uh, she was dead. Did Jesse feel bad that he was mooching off his widower brother-in-law and his three daughters? Okay, just shut up, all right? Jesse wasn't mooching. He did get a job, eventually. He opened his own nightclub. I guess that's something. Wait, who played there? Mostly just Jesse's own band. I, I know what you two are thinking, okay? But you're taking Jesse completely out of context. He was a major sex symbol. He married a super hot TV reporter and had two babies with her. Whoa. He was married with kids. Yeah. And he was okay with his wife and infant children living in an attic. Is that even legal? Pat, is there anything redeemable about this guy at all? Yes, everything. Uh, he loved Elvis. Like my grandmother. He was totally obsessed with his hair, and if you touched it, he would freak out at you. Did this man get punched a lot? He owned a motorcycle. Why didn't he sell it and give the money to Danny? Motorcycles are very expensive. I don't know. I don't know. Fine, fine. You know what? Maybe you two are right. <sighs> Maybe he wasn't. Perfect. He didn't have a job or money. But so what? To me, he was a hero. I have to get out of here. You know, it's times like these I wish I could just go live in my uncle's driveway, like Cody from Step by Step. Like a drifter? Not like a drifter, Murph. Thanks for watching. Click here to subscribe to College Humor and here to watch more videos where you can catch all the laughs. What was that, man?